So as you can see, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. There are these videos on YouTube, you've probably seen them, where someone will try to speed run a video game from beginning to end as fast as possible. So I was thinking, how could I adapt this style of video to something that I do? and hopefully do well. And the answer that I came up with was ricing. So I do a lot of ricing, so I thought, how fast can I install and rice i3 and polybar from beginning to end? So here's a speed run of it. So in the lower right hand corner, you're going to be seeing a stopwatch. I will start that and then from that moment on, the video will be completely unedited. So there's gonna be no cheating. I've promised myself that I wouldn't cheat. So let's go ahead and see how quickly I can do this. Now I'm going to be doing this on Manjaro and I was originally going to do it on Ubuntu because it was a little bit more difficult, but I decided to go a little bit easier on myself and just use an Arch-based distro. So let's go ahead and see how this works out. Uh, the only changes I've made to Manjaro are to update it. This is a fresh install, so I haven't got an AUR helper or anything like that. So it should be an interesting process. Let's go ahead and jump in. So. Uh, let me go ahead and start the stopwatch now. So the first thing we'll need to do is open up terminal, do sudo uh, pacman dash s uh, i3 and then uh, polybar. Hopefully polybars in the regular repositories. I don't actually know if it is. We're going to find out uh, D menu if it's here, alacrity if it's here. And uh, let's see what else will I need? Oh, vim. I'll need vim. I think that that is it. We'll see what is not here. Oh, of course. Yeah, actually, th this is why speedruns don't work when you don't know how to type or the damn. Um, I three gaps is fine. Uh, even though technically they're going to be not the same anymore. So just yes there. There we go. Everything was in the standard repositories. Oh, Arch is so good sometimes. Uh, no, I'm not moving away from Fedora. So that's literally all there is to that. So let's go ahead now and uh, log out. Do this here, log out, go down here, I think, yeah, right here, all right, and then enter the password, and hit enter, and enter again, now, if we hit, there we go, we got a, got ourselves a terminal, so we should be able to zoom in a little bit here, so cd.config i3, and do an ls here, there's a config file in here, so we're going to vim into config, and we're going to change some things here first. So we're going to go down here to the this one here. This one here's first. So we'll delete this word, delete this letter, so that way I can kill things normally. And we'll change this to alacrity. Change dollar sign to alacrity. Okay, we'll right and click that. Restart I3. Do an enter. Now we have alacrity. Good. Now we're gonna go back into that. Yeah, i3 file, them into config again, and go down here to the bottom, and get rid of the bar. Okay, there's there's the bar. Now, I th we're going to make a directory, oops, we're going to cd up level, make directory polybar, and then we're going to cp slash etsy polybar config.ini into polybar like so. Now if we cd into polybar like this, there is now a config.ini in there. I think if we vim into that, we're going to need to check the name of the configuration files. We're going to vim into the config there and see what the name of the bar, the example bar is. I think it's just uh, example. I think I passed it. Yeah, it's just example. So we're going to change this to bar. Save this, and then we're going to do uh, them into uh, launch.sh, and then we're going to go, go to another workspace, open up Firefox, and go to Polybar, like so. Polybar again. Uh, Wiki is where we need to go. We need to scroll down here to uh, this script right here. Copy this. Go back to this particular thing. Um, oops. And copy it a little bit more than we needed to. That's okay. All this is copied, uh, is commented out for some reason. Uh, we'll delete 
that then and do that again because there's apparently an extra line there. There we go. That's better. We can delete this one here and delete from the end of this here. So delete dollar sign. Okay. And I think we named that regular bar instead of not bar one. So we'll change this to bar and that should be good. Now we're going to ch mod plus x uh, launch.sh. Now, if we do dot slash launch.sh, we should get a poly bar, which we do. That should be good. We can close that and uh, kill all poly bar. Like so. We're going to cd to dot config i3 vim con. Oops. Like so, got down here at the bottom. We're going to exec underscore always and then tilde slash dot config. Oops slash polybar dot slash launch slash mat launch dot sh put an ampersand there write that do that and then we have a polybar now what I need to see is if I restart polybar again if we get two polybars we don't excellent that means things are working the way they should excellent excellent so now we need to go to uh, let's see, open up another terminal do need sudo pacman dash s Fa and do that and yes that's installed now we need to go to back to two we need to find ourselves a wallpaper so we're going to go to uh, grovebox ubuntu oh, manjaro because we're not in, in wallpaper like so and uh, images oh there's some nice ones here uh, this one actually will work really well. So let's see here. Vi uh, view image and new tab. So we can make sure that this is the proper size. Save image as. In pictures, we're going to name it. There's not a. Apparently, it's not showing everything, which is awesome. Uh, that, is, that, is, that is awesome. That's very fantastic. Okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, we are. That's a WebP. I hate WebP. Um, just view the image. Sure. <laughs> like seriously, nobody likes WebP. Save image as. That's uh, JPEG's much better. Now, go to three CD into pictures. See that what this looks like. Uh, move TI into oops. into just wall.jpg like so that would work better here um, do this do exec underscore always fa dash dash bg dash fill and then tilde slash pictures slash wall yeah dot jpg save this Restart poly, restart i3. Now we should be able to go to there and we got our wallpaper. That's excellent. Now we're gonna need to go to the Grubbox theme. Grub theme. Like so. There we go. This is going to have the codes that we need. They're right here. So we're going to go here and move this to workspace two so they're side by side. Now uh, the actually the before we do that, we're gonna get rid of the title bars. Actually, you want to know what? Let's not get rid of the title bars. Just for craps and giggles, let's keep the poly bar, the, the title bars, and um, theme them. So we're going to need to go to i3 uh, GitHub in order to get the code that I need to do that. So we're going to need to go to... Uh, uh, move this back to one so we can actually see the whole thing. Um, let's see. Probably... See if I can find the tiling it. Let's see the project bubs. You know, I'm an idiot, Matt. I swear to God, I know how to use i3. Like I knew, I I boast about i3's documentation all the time, and I completely whiffed that that it was there. So um, search for colors right here. The thing that we need is this block right here. Why this isn't actually in the default configuration file, I don't know. So let's see here. Oops. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So apparently we didn't copy the whole thing. All right. So now we can go back here and move this back to to the proper thing and go back to the grove box theme here, which we need. And uh, let's see here. Oh. That's not what I wanted to do. I guess it'll work. I guess it'll work. All right. So let's see. So we want the uh, border. Let's see. The border to be like, say, let's orange. So D65, D0E, and do the same for the background, and same for the indicator, and same for the child border. Now, if we save that and we start I3, what does that look like? Oh, that looks nice. Actually, that looks pretty good. Um, and then the, we, we need to do the um, foc unfocused, I think. Um, actually, we'll do both the inactive. So for this, we'll do the, um, the BG1. So that is uh, 3C, 3A. 6 and the background should also be that and the text for both of these should be um, FB F1 F C oops excuse me FB F1 C7 and change this again um, did I actually change that um, Yes. Okay, so we did it right. All right. Had a little bit of a brain fart there. That's okay. 3C, 3836, and do this again here. Okay. Now I think if, let's see what that changed. That's not bad. I think I need to change it for this one too, though. Change this and this. We'll come back for the, the text here in a second. Change this to FB F1 C7. I changed it to, to the background of that. That doesn't look anything like what they they show that background color there. That looks, that looks more like real brown. I think I'm going to change that to the BG0. Don't quite like that. Oops. Oops. Get out of insert mode, Matt. All right, so it's 282, 282, 828. And we'll change it there, and there, and there, and there. And there and there come on Matt learn how to use Vim again all right now oh yeah that looks better yeah okay so we needed to to um, go go up here and uh, let's see here change this to the search for nerd fonts let's see here just uh, just nerd fonts here we go and uh, uh, downloads. Let's see if we can find. Let's see if we can find a proper font. So we'll just go here and uh, the one that I normally go with is JetBrains Mono, which is what. Now well, let's go with Hack. Hack is good. So that's in there. Let's go ahead and open up a new terminal. Go to CD uh, downloads. So there's un unzip hack right here. All right, less. Okay, so now we need to make directory tilde slash dot fonts. Okay, now um, I'm just gonna do unzip hack again into tilde slash, which is what I should have done in the first place. This is not gonna work. Dot zip. There we go. Did not make the make it proper file name not matched. Okay. 
cd 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 dot fonts wow i can't i i'm really having a hard time typing okay so we're gonna do that again so let's uh, cd downloads less hack dot zip okay so unzip hack dot zip into tilde slash dot fonts file name not matched apparently can't do that in the, like that i didn't know that okay well let's move hack dot zip into dot tilde slash dot fonts matt why do you want to type dot config every time this is what happens when your fingers are cold. <laughs> you can't type anything. Yes, blame the cold weather when you can't type. All right. Let's send an unzip uh, hack. There we go. All right. Now, we can go back here. Uh, we need to, we can move this to a different workspace for a minute. Go back here to here and type in uh, hack nerd font and change this to nine all right there we go i think that worked out just fine uh, let's actually make sure that it worked out just fine change this to like 20 so we can make sure yeah all right good now there is i3 now the next thing we need to do is just change myself some polybar so we're what are we doing on time we're doing on 15 minutes that's a lot longer than i thought i was going to take to be honest with you i thought i could do a lot faster than that but what the hell we're moving all right so to do polybar we need to put out of this and cd into uh polybar and then to the config file all right so the first thing we're going to do is get rid of some of these modules so um, let's see we don't need follow system we don't need pulse audio actually we'll keep pulse audio and we'll get rid of the keyboard layout and we will keep memory and cpu we'll get rid of the ethernet and date so that should care of that restart that and that takes care of quite a bit of that stuff now we will let's see here So if we do go back to the grove box and go here and scroll down back down to where we can find the colors. That'll get rid of shim and we'll show some a little bit more. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is change the background. So we'll go back up here. Uh, background color so uh, we could do yeah right here so the background color is going to be 282 828 okay and uh, we don't need a background alt i don't think but we'll make that the same color okay the foreground is going to be ebd bb2 um, let's see here everything else the red, the alert can stay. That can be CC241D. 241D. Four, Matt. Four comes after three. Uh, we don't need a disabled one. Oops. All right, now, let's make some other ones. Green equals pound 989-7. 989. Uh, 71A, 71A, uh, let's see here, yellow equals pound D799 to one, and then uh, blue equals pound uh, 4458, 588, and then purple, probably won't need all of these, but we're just going to do it anyways. This is the way that I'd do it if I was doing this, you know, one six two eight six and then uh, aqua equals pound six eight nine six eight nine D six A. I don't need gray. Red equals pound 
compound FB4934. Okay, and then uh, the rest of those are just lighter versions of the things we already have. We don't need those. Okay, now background is that one. We save this now and restart. We're there for a little bit. Actually, to be honest with you, that looks kind of cool, just monotoned, but no, that'd be lazy, and I don't want to be lazy, but I do want to be done by 25 minutes. Okay, so let's uh, change this. So, jet brains, mo oops, I <laughs> see, I'm used to doing jet brains, model hack, nerd font. Uh, and then, uh, I'm looking for the syntax of the fonts. I can never remember it. Oh, there we go. All right. Sorry about that. Technically, that was not what I was supposed to do. All right. So it's supposed to be colon size 10, uh, size equals 10, comma, and then that's fine. It ends. Oops. I always have these in parentheses. And then gang gang p change that to one and that should be fine i don't really know if we'll need both of those or not we may need them later on to change different sizes but we'll see okay now move on to x workspaces right so um so let's see do we want to keep the underlying mechanism normally i do not but we can anyways so we'll do that this way so the underline here we'll do um we don't have an orange we actually we don't need an orange we'll do, we'll use a uh, yellow for that so and um label dash occupied dash uh, foreground equals dollar sign uh, colors dot um, blue like so and uh, let's see we don't need to do an urgent one It'd just be a waste of time all right so now if we restart that there we go uh, all those are occupied so they're going to be a different color that's fine so now moving on to a, a pulse audio now we should do something a little bit different for this so Let's see how we can do this because the, the Pulse Audio script is going to be a little bit different. I don't think it has a prefix mode. Oh, it does have a prefix. Ah, so we need to go to nerd fonts again. Uh, nerd fonts. Actually, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Scroll down a little bit. Uh, icons. I should, did that not, why didn't I? There we go. And apparently I didn't click. Clicking is hard. Okay, so uh, let's see. Volume. See what showed up there. Yep, that'll work. One of these, this one will do. Uh, let's see, change this to so. Oops. Oops. There we go. Now, format volume foreground equals. I have the names of these things here. So. Uh, dollar sign squiggly brackets colors dot green like so I think that'll work and then hmm I mean, we could do something fancy we'll see how I go on time so we'll restart that see if that worked out there we need to put some space in between this yeah that's much better okay now um do do so next i think we need to find that separator separator and comment that out get rid of that okay so now we're going to look for a ram which is actually going to be memory so go back here and search for memory while wow, there's way more m's than i meant to type my keyboard's been doing that a lot lately i don't know why Okay, and then uh, let's see, color for prefix foreground. Change this to 
we already did a blue, so let's do a purple. Okay, like so. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, hold on a second. We gotta go back to back up to pulse. That's not going to work. So, oops. Like so, format volume. Format dash volume foreground equals colon colors dot foreground like so and apparently I messed that up hmm usually this happens because there's two different ones okay so apparently that already exists because it does it, it exists right here um, That should work. There we go. That's better. Okay. Just a pro tip. If your polybar ever disappears, it usually means that you have a line in there twice. That's usually the problem. Okay. So now we need to move on to CPU. Like so. All right. Change this into let's see, chip. Probably. Chip. Yeah. 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 It works. Okay. Like so. Uh, then uh, change this to so we did green and purple, and uh, we already have yellow there. So we change this to aqua, I guess. I don't know. aqua and green, or you know. <laughs> All right, and then uh, do this. Oops. Aqua format pr prefix. No, it's for foreground equals dollar sign parentheses or squiggly brights colors dot foreground like so do this yeah all right now uh, date here we go oh uh, let's see I don't remember what the syntax is for we're gonna label prefix equals and then we'll see if this is right i'm just i'm completely pulling this out of my rear end uh let's see clock that's not how you spell clock matt there we go uh, this will work i don't think we'll need that many spaces label prefix foreground equals colors dot what have we used? Um, red. Um, squiggle brackets. There we go. Let's see if that worked. That did not work. So that means that label prefix foreground is not right. Um, I bet you it's, then it could probably be maybe a foreground uh, format prefix. Maybe. Like so. Yeah. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. All right, uh, we need a little bit more space in there, though. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay. Um, now, let's see here. I think that we need to change a couple other things. So we're done with colors, I think. So we we'll go back up here to the, the actual settings. So we're going to change the... Let's see here. Do, do, do things that we need to change so radius six I think we we'll change this to zero so there's no rounded corners and there's like a space in between there but I don't actually mind the space so we can keep that so I think that that is done enough so we'll put that and uh, sudo pacman s uh, neo fetch and there you have it 28 minutes 43 seconds to start to finish now 
It's not anything special. <laughs> I could have went another 10 minutes on that poly bar. And I'm sure that there's going to be somebody in the, 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 um, the comments saying low effort. Agreed. Uh, if, if, if you guys like this format, I will do it again. Probably with another, uh, window manager that I'm not so familiar with. So it's even a little bit more difficult. So, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with i3. So, uh, this was fairly easy for me. And I, I am astonished that it took me 28 minutes, but whatever. It's okay. I will, I will suffer the fact that I did it in only under half an hour. So, and obviously I could have raced more. I could have raced the terminal. I could have raced D menu, stuff like that. And maybe again, if you guys are interested in a more uh, complex version of this, let me know in the comment section below. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. Thanks to all my patrons. You, can, you guys are all amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very much. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast if you'd like to. There's also links to Libera Pay and the YouTube nonsense in the video description as well if you'd like to support me in alternative methods. Uh, honestly, just the fact that you guys watch this just makes me so happy. So thank you all so very, very much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.